stolen. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hi, girlies. Welcome to my first YouTube video. I don't know how I feel right now. If I seem nervous, it's because I am. But we're just gonna go with it. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna try to list everything that I use um, on either on the screen or down in the description if I don't tell you, but I'm gonna tell you. Look, this is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is a mini one that I got when I first wanted to try it out. We're gonna do a chit chat type get ready with me. I'm gonna do a Valentine's Day look since Valentine's Day is right around the corner. And even if you're not doing anything, even if you're not with anybody, like get ready, like just get ready. Do you girl, like please do it for you, not for nobody else. Stunning. Should I do my eyeshadow first? Yeah, let's do eyeshadow first. So when I do eyeshadow first, I typically fill in my eyebrows and then underline. I just use this Tres Luce Hello Brows pencil and I literally just kind of fill in the bottom and then I use the NARS Soft Matte Pot Concealer um, and I use that to carve out my eyebrows. I use that as my base for my eyeshadow and then if I have any like really red spots on my face, use this same concealer and I just kind of pat it on there. And I do set my concealer on my eyes because I have creasy eyelids and I think everybody should uh, set it. I use a little bit of translucent powder. Any powder will do. Just pack it on there. I did say we're gonna do a little Valentine's Day look, so let's do that. I was using the Natasha Denona. This is called the Retro Palette. Super, super pretty. It is a little bit pricey, but I really just told myself I deserved it for no reason. So here it is. It has these like beautiful pink colors i love 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 this palette honestly if you if you don't like these tones don't get it but i know that these are my favorite type of tones so i splurge on it because i knew i was gonna get good use out of it but if you don't like these type of tones just get something similar or or not if you don't care then don't do it <laughs> i don't have a look planned i'm just hoping that I'm like oh my god <laughs> i am just hoping that i'll feel the vibes and I will know where to go from here. So let's do it. I like to clean as I go. Like I used to just scatter everything out and then like, especially if I was going out, I wouldn't have time to clean out. So the next day I would be hung over AF and then I'd have a mess in my beauty room. And I'm like, why did I do that? I'm on my like clean girl era. And so now what I try to do is like, as soon as I'm done using the product, just put it back. Like you would think that makes sense, right? But a lot of us don't do that and naturally. So. That's what I try to do. I just try to like use the product. If I'm done with it, put it away, you know, and then it makes it so much easier to to keep clean because it's hard out here. It's hard to keep clean. If you're not a clean girly naturally, then you just don't clean up naturally. Duh. The first color I'm gonna do is Nude Mauve, this one right here. And I'm just gonna kind of throw that everywhere. And I it looks really light, but it's actually, actually I'm lying. <laughs> Rewind. I'm gonna take Vivian, this color right here, put that in my crease pretty generously with a big fluffy brush. This is Miss Jaclyn Hale and Morphe JH32. Starting off with the first color, I'm literally gonna put that like right here and just start blending back and forth. And the rule is, I don't know if it's a rule, I made up the rule. The way I do my makeup is the lighter the color, the bigger the brush. It will help blend out so much easier. So if you have a super dark color, don't use this big brush because then you're not going to be able to get that like gradient effect. Just keep in mind, if you're using a light color, then use on your crease, of course. If you're using a light color, then use a fluffy brush because it a fluffy brush will blend out much easier. Especially if when, when you're a beginner and you're just learning to blend out eyeshadow. And you kind of are like lost in the sauce use that rule for guidance okay so now that that's all blended out it's just a nice wash of color all over my crease um and i do bring it up pretty high just because i do have that like lid space if your space is like not that much if you have a little bit smaller eyes i would definitely keep it a little bit lower just adjust to your eye shape the next color i'm going to be using is this it's called gogo -Go. 
and I've taken them even smaller. It's just a little bit smaller. It's still a fluffy blending brush. This one is the Morphe. Oh, it's really old, so it doesn't have a name actually. It's it's by Morphe. You can you can find something like this pretty easily. I'm gonna take that shade Go Go, and again just put it in my crease and work it in lower than I put the first shade. So it gives it that greedy effect. I'm so sorry, I talk with my hands so much. It's really actually annoying. I kind of place and then move it side to side. So I'm placing it and like moving it side to side before I blend it out. I'm really excited that Beauty YouTube is kind of making a comeback because I missed the first time, honestly. I should have started a YouTube but I was just so insecure. I was insecure about myself, my, not just like physically, but I was just insecure that like, what if nobody's gonna like me? Nobody's gonna watch or anything. And I'm, now I'm like, it doesn't matter if nobody likes you, if nobody watches. And I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> but this is really fun. I've been doing TikToks and I really, really have been enjoying TikToks. I feel like the beauty community and YouTube really suffered after a while. Like 2016 was the peak, 2016 to like, 2019 i would say and then i feel like 2020 it kind of just stopped like nobody really talked about beauty anymore and now that tiktok's back and like beauty talks back it seems like people want to make longer form contact with makeup which is me it's me i want to <laughs> so i'm excited this is fun it's therapeutic and i hope it's fun and therapeutic for you my favorite types of videos are get ready with me they, they have always been since i started watching youtube they have always been my favorite types of videos so i was like really sad i was really upset when the beauty community kind of decided to go into shambles and stop doing these but who cares like just do it it's a good time to do it i'm gonna take the same fluffy brush and i'm gonna take the shade Amara, 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 I think it's Amara, this one in the corner right here, and again, I'm just going to put it a little bit lower than I put the last shade, and I like to start in the outer corner, press it, like I said, just place it first before you start blending out, wait, I was saying, I was always kind of really insecure to start a YouTube or any social media, I would always share my pictures on Facebook or Instagram, and people would be like, you should do like videos, tutorials, etc., and I was always like, oh, I do want to, I do want to. But like I said, I was very insecure. And for what? Like, I don't know. I'm amazing. No, I'm just kidding. I was just always very insecure, like in every aspect. If you don't love yourself, if you're not confident in yourself, you can't get others to like you, you know? It's it's hard. I always thought like, oh, I'm just going to wait until my skin clears up. And oh, I'm just going to wait until I lose weight. Oh, I'm just going to wait until... I get more followers or more this or that and now I'm like I should have just done it like who cares your skin is gonna be your skin changes skin changes that's what it is and I'm like why did I even want to portray like a perfect image of somebody who I'm not like everybody has skin issues and it's normal like why would I not want to be relatable and so now I'm like you know learn to love yourself love the skin you're in Thank your skin, your body for being who you are, doing what you do. I know it's hard. It's easier said than done. It took me a really long time to be confident in myself. And you know what's crazy? I am the heaviest I've ever been in my life. I'm, I'm a thick girl. And I, I feel like I'm more confident than I ever have been. And I don't know if it has anything to do like... I don't know it doesn't have anything to do physically it's just mentally like who i don't care that i'm this heavy because it doesn't matter how heavy you are the way you look on the outside has nothing to do with the way you think on the inside if you're ugly on the inside you're gonna be ugly on the outside now that it looks like you got punched on the eyes you're doing a good job if this is what it looks like you're doing a good job this is very much a trust the process look i'm gonna take the colors groove and rebellion this one and this one and i'm just gonna put it in the, like the very outer corner of my eyelid or crease not eyelid crease and i'm literally just gonna pack just pack it on like i said if i'm gonna sound like a broken record place it first and then blend and when you pack it on it makes it the shadows look more opaque is that the word opaque opaque i know how to spell it i just don't know how to say it opaque Opaco. 
yes oh buckle and don't worry about the edge that's what this is why i do my eyeshadow first because i literally will come in and like clean this up so i don't look like a panda now that we look like this super crazy ridiculous it's probably not perfect honestly it doesn't have to be perfect like i'm gonna use my finger guess which one Read between the lines. I'm gonna take my middle finger just because it's more, it's like the heaviest finger. I'm gonna pack some of the shade Hello, kind of like out here for it. So literally just pack, pack. <gasps> Stunning, I love it. As you're packing it, kind of like move it around. Like blend it out softly. Softly with your finger, you want to press it in. There you have it, folks. So you do that on the other side. I'll be right back. For the inner corner, I want like a lighter color. So I'm gonna take a flat brush like this. I'm gonna spray it. You can literally use any spray, anything, even water. I'm take the color psychedelic, this one right here, right smack in the middle. And I always take off the excess and anything that I'm doing, I never just go in straight. I always just pack it off on my finger. And then I'm gonna put it right in the inner corner, like this. Oh, I don't know why my head was tilted. I'm so sorry. I like to take the brush and kind of like swoop it right here into like a half moon. I just love the way that looks. Like, okay, you can't really see it on camera. Maybe you can. I like a half cut, cut crease type vibe, but like soft. And there she is. Oh my gosh, the camera is not picking up. <laughs> Why? Oh, because I'm using the wrong color. <laughs> if you've made it this far, please trust in me. This is my first video, okay? Be nice. It's drying, please hold. Okay, Dick, this side. So I place it first in the inner corner, and then from here, I swoop. It really does look prettier in person. Now that it looks like that, I'm gonna take I know so much, so many steps. I'm gonna take this one and just kind of like put it all over my eyelid. A little bit pinkier and a little bit sparklier. Just pat that like all over. Oh yeah. That looks great little on here i'm just gonna take a clean big fluffy brush and like mesh everything together like just make sure everything's blended if you feel like excuse me oh. if you feel like you kind of lost some of that depth on the outer corner then girl go back in there and define it i like that period eh. you're gonna take the makeup wipe from the corner the outer corner of your eye, like the lower lash line, and like drag it. Drag it! Um, so yeah, from like right here, you're gonna gently... Please don't hurt yourself. You're gonna pull and... Oh. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Love it. Okay, from here, you could add black wing liner. You could do a brown wing liner. You can leave it like this. You could smoke out your lash line. Mm, I think that's what we're gonna do. Cause I want it to be like sexy vibes, you know? Like, I'm a cute singer. Like, mm, I'm not a whore, but I'm not a virgin either type vibes, you know? So I'm gonna do a little smoky liner. I'm not gonna smoke it out. I'm just gonna like smudge it on my lash line. Disney collection, but they have the regular eyeliner if you don't find this one it's the same one as the regular one but it's the one size point made bodacious black like this and i'm just gonna line my eyeballs very a medium line not thin not thick just medium like me just kidding i'm thick to smoke out my eyeliner i'm gonna use the morphe M515 and it looks like this. It's literally so tiny. Like, look at my finger compared to this. And I'm gonna use the darkest shade in the palette, that Rebellion shade that I used. And we're gonna 
to smoke it out. I'm going like back and forth, back and forth. Like, eh, 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 eh. yeah. I'm going to take a black and then like smudge it even further just to make it a little bit smokier. Any black um, eyeshadow will do. I'm just using the Master Mats Makeup by Mario palette. And we're going to smudge out the black. I know I said I wasn't going to wing it out, but like we're already here. So just like flick it a little bit, okay? Like I'm not doing it on purpose. My hand is just doing it, like doing the damn thing. Okay. Like that. It's cute, right? I don't know why I like hunchback myself. Stop. Stop. Sit up, bitch. Damn. Okay, welcome back to the eye. We'll come back, not welcome back. We will come back to the eyes. This is just the way I do it. If you like to do your lashes and everything, like right after, go ahead, like do it how you like. This is just how I like it. I don't know. I don't like to do my mascara or my lashes or anything um, before my face because I just feel like it gets hella messy. Like I'm like all over my face. So I just do my eyes, my face, come back to the eye. Anyway. For my face, I make a concoction every single time. I use NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This one. Put it on my little hand palette. And then I use the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I mix that in there. I do that for two reasons. Um, one, because this NARS Soft Matte one is like too light and pink toned. And this one is a little too dark and it's like yellow toned and I'm pretty neutral. So I just mix them together. The other reason I do it is because I do have oily skin. And so for, if I want a very long wearing foundation, I like the soft matte one. The radiant one is long wearing too, but I don't know, just in case. Por si las moscas, you know? Mix it on my hand palette and then I just place it. I also forgot to mention I did add a little bit more of that soft matte concealer underneath my eyes just because the bags are bagging man i'm like oh my god what is going on i'm gonna blend this out this is the brush i use it's a flat top dense very dense brush it's from it cosmetics um i don't know the name i will try to put it down below for you guys i've been trying to look for it and i don't know if they're discontinuing it so i got this one at ulta so i don't know if it's part of like the ulta collection or I don't know, I'm tripping. I can't I can't find it for you guys, but I'll try. If you see it down there, it'll be there. If not, I'm so sorry. Oh, you know why my bags are so bad? It's because I went on a trip with Blanca, my comadre, to California for Lulu's launch party. This is the Rare Beauty bronzing stick. And listen to this. So we left. Wednesday, our flight was at 8 a.m. We didn't go to sleep until 1 a.m. the night before, but we had to be up at 3.30 to get, like, to finish packing, get ready, stuff like that. Woke up at 3.30, like, the day of our flight. I had to go to her house because I had to go pick her up. I live, like, 30 to 40 minutes away from her house, so I had to leave early to go pick her up. From her house we went to the airport which her house from the airport is like another 40 45 minutes from the airport then we had to get there early so that we could go park my car and had the shuttle take us to the airport thank god we didn't have any checked bags so security was super quick we got to la at 10. miss stacy picked us up she was so sweet she picked us up she took us to brunch she let us stay at her house she offered by the way i got a comment on my tiktok saying that why are we always staying at people's places? Que somos bien colas, this and that. I'm like, girl, I'm so sorry that your friends don't offer to pick you up. Like, cause she's like, why don't you go stay at a hotel? Like, I have good friends. Like, I'm sorry, girl. I don't know what to tell you. Get better friends. Like, oh, my underbags, under eye bags. So then, you know, we got to Stacy's house after we went to brunch. We literally, as soon as we got there, we started getting ready. And we didn't have that much time to get ready because the place where we were going was like, kind of far it was like an hour away from Stacy's house so we had to be ready soon so right after the oh my gosh like I'm literally talking out of my ass right now I'm so sorry <laughs> I lose my train of thought so quick I think I have ADHD after we got ready we went straight to Miss Lulu's party which was an hour away 
and we were there you know all afternoon it was on a boat it was super super beautiful like everything was so beautiful i was like damn like they really did the damn thing it was so beautiful it was on a yacht i'm pretty sure that's what a yacht is right it's like a a big ass boat where you can like eat and like dine and stuff in there it was a big it's a big boat we went and we did like a lap around i don't know where we were honestly but we did a lap we were there all night and then we Ubered back to Stacy's house. And the Uber was like playing these audiobooks in like four times the speed. So it was like, blah, 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 blah. like I'm like, how are you even understanding anything right now? Can you put music like a normal person? Like, can you just do that for us, please? And it's so funny because me and Blanca have talked about this before, like our icks, like our I don't know if it's an ick, it's like a like a trigger type thing, I would say. And she literally said she has told me before this that her ick is like when people read like the terms and conditions and they talk in like four times the speed it's like terms and conditions like no it's literally her ick and for 40 minutes we were listening to her, his audiobook in four times the speed it was quite hilarious quite funny actually if you ask me if you ask her it's not that funny but if you ask me it's pretty funny we went back to Stacy's house that sweet doll had tacos for us. She had food for us because it had been a while since we ate. We were on the boat for a few hours, so we were hungry. So she got tacos for us. And then we kind of stayed up talking, had a therapy session. The Rare Beauty blush in Bliss. Looks like this. And then the Makeup by Mario blush in Raspberry. It's a stick blush. I'm gonna use this Hourglass Vanish Concealer. So like I was saying, if you know Stacy, you know Miss Stacy is like the wisest person on earth. She's just been through so much. Like she just is so in touch with her emotions. She's so in touch with herself. Like she is just amazing. But she always gives us, you know, gives us talks. I'm like, I've never had known anybody that I just feel comfortable sharing my entire life story with. Like it's not like she pushes you. You just like sit there and you want to tell her. You're like, fix me, please. <laughs> Um, so we just stayed up talking for quite some time. Blanca and I went back into our room to get our stuff ready. And she kind of fell asleep. She was so tired, that poor thing. She was so tired. I was tired too, but I was like, I'm not going to get up early enough to get my stuff, like pack everything and get ready. So I just started packing everything while she napped. And it was... I by the time I got to bed, it was like 12 or 1. And we had to leave for the airport by like 2.30, 3, something like that. I don't remember. We literally slept like four hours in two days. And we were delusional, honestly. Like, I don't know how we did that. And I had to drive her home. I didn't have to. I wanted to drive her home. That sounds so bad. I had to drive her home. I wanted to drive her home, so that was 40 minutes, and I live 40 minutes away from her. So it was such a long drive, and I don't know how I stayed awake. God was like, I got you, girl. Because I don't know how I stayed awake. But I made it home, and literally by the time I got home, I think it was like around 11. Saw my husband for a bit, and we just hung out, and he literally just cuddled me while I fell asleep. <laughs> what a guy. He cuddled me while I fell asleep because I was so tired and then I slept until like 6 o'clock. And that was my day. And this is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. Yes, I used two. And what? What are you going to do about it? Just kidding. That was why my under eye bags are so bad. This look is coming together so good, honestly. I'll be back. Okay, I'm done with my concealers. And now what I like to do is take the clean side. This is the Makeup by Ariel sponge. And I just go over everything just to like make it look flawless. And before I set, I'm gonna spray the Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury, this bad boy, all over. Oof. And dry it with a fan. Wait until it's completely dry. And then I'll go over with the sponge again. And then I'll set everything. Like, it's hard to be a catfish, honestly. You know what I'm going to do, actually? Okay, so I actually have this Safe Beauty, um, what is it? Glowy, Glowy Super Gel. 
I never use it, but you know what? We're gonna use it today. I'm gonna take my sponge and just kind of put it like right here before I set. I'm going for a glowy look apparently. Oh my gosh, yes. This is so cute. This is so cute. Just like adds dimension to the face, you know? Especially because I like to powder. So you need to bring back some of that like glowiness, especially like if you're an oily girl like me, you need to powder, please powder. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't powder because you need to powder. Even if you're a dry girl, like use a little powder. It makes your makeup more long wearing, you know? But whatever, what do I know? I know a little bit. Now we're gonna take our creases out before we set. I'm going to take this Fit Me L'Oreal Oh my god, I'm so sorry. That's not L'Oreal. Fit Me Maybelline Loose Powder. I'm going to set my under eyes with a little Amazon puff. So I'm going to pack it on. Like, I put it on the lid. I hella pack it on. And then with the rest of it, I like dab it off on my hand, on my little hand palette. And then go in and like hella press it into those creases, girl. Like press, 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 pat, pat, pat. Press, 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 press. Cardi no need no press. And I use a lighter color. This is shade five. I'm pretty, pretty pale, as you can see. I use shade five because that really brightens. So use like one or two shades lighter than your actual foundation color to set your under eyes. And that will give you a brightening effect. It will keep, because if you do all that work with a concealer to brighten and then you set it with like, I don't know, the same color, like a translucent powder. It's it's not gonna do anything, but look how bright it is. And then I'll take a, like a tiny, tiny bit and set like my chin with this. And I'll set my, like right here, this area, cause I'd like to, anywhere that you brightened with the concealer pretty much. Kinda wanna just kind of set it with that, but I mostly focus it underneath my eyes. We're gonna set the rest of the face with the Laura Mercier translucent powder same trick the powder puff pack it on and then take off a little bit and then set and you want to press like really really press it in because that's what's gonna make it more like long wearing it's gonna lock your makeup into place if you're dry i don't know if i would do all this if you don't like the matter makeup look maybe you could set with a brush or like a different type of powder but i don't know this is so long wearing like if you want a long wearing look this is this is the way to do it honestly like i don't know what to tell you i don't make the rules after you set everything just spray it again because it helps with that glowiness and it helps it helps not look so powdery moving along i'm using the house labs bronzer and this I'm going to use more to sculpt and contour my face. Honestly, this brush is from Ulta. <laughs> it's like the flimsiest little brush, but my grandma always gives me um, Ulta makeup boxes, like the pink little makeup boxes. She always gives me those. And that's where I got it from. I I'm pretty sure they sell it individually, if you care for this. I'm pretty sure there's better brushes than this, but I don't know, like... I just like it. Look, look how easy it is. I hit that double chin because I can't afford lipo right now, but if I did. Okay, now that I sculpt, I'm going to go in and like bronze, like do a glowy bronze. This is by Makeup by Ariel Times Morphe brush. It's this one. It is the A21. I'm going to take the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. Looks like this. And this is what I'm going to use to bronze. I'm going to get a pretty generous amount. Take the rest off and then just like pat this on my cheek, like everywhere. This has like a glowy effect to it. So I love using this to bronze. The first House Labs bronzer was more of like a cool tone type bronzer. It's more like a contour powder. This is definitely warmer and it has like a sheen to it. So you... If you're gonna, you can't use this to contour. You need to use this to bronze and like add glow. And I just like, I have a really hard time 
stopping when I start adding this product. Like, it just takes over me. I can't. Stop. But this is the e.l.f. sponge. I'm going to take some Aura Mercier powder. And I like this flat edge because I just clean that bitch up just like that. You're not going to clean your room? That's fine. Take it from the corner of your mouth and pull it up to like the edge of your ear. And I take the rest and just kind of pat it around everywhere. Why? I don't know. I just do. I'm going to take the Dior Rosy Glow, this one, this little baby. I take her to do a little bit of blush action, a little bit, with this brush. I This brush is so old. It's so old, I'm so sorry. It looks like this. It's my favorite blush brush. So I'm gonna take some, and I'm gonna blush that bitch up. And I start here, and then just kind of diffuse. Like, look, you're not gonna tell me you don't like blush. I'm not gonna believe you if you tell me right now. If you say to me, I don't like blush, I'm gonna be like, you're lying. You're lying right now. What is this sorcery? Like, what? Like, smile a little bit. No seas amargada. And if you thought that wasn't enough, I'm taking this Kylie pink powder blush. Looks like this. And it's a little bit... It's a little bit lighter, so I just kind of like to place it on top and like maybe diffuse the edges. I don't know. I don't know. I just like to add it. Especially like... I like it for like this part right here so it can like blend into my under eye seamlessly. Like that. And then up here, everywhere. Get into it, yeah. Cute. And sometimes, like if I feel like my foundation is not full coverage enough, I will take a powder foundation I like using the Sephora collection one, this powder foundation. And I'll just go over like everything and put powder foundation on. But today I'm like, that's cute. I think we're fine today. So we're gonna leave that as is. And then I'm gonna add some highlight. Taking the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt. It's, it looks like this. Oh my gosh, if I show you this right now, you promise you can't judge me. It's so powdery, but I love it. It's super natural and glowy. It's cute. It's just really cute. And I mix both sides because it has two sides. And I just add it to like the very tops of where my cheekbones are supposed to be. I add it like right here. And I love the way like when you turn and it um, glows like right here in this area. And one more time. Now that all of the powders are done, I like to just do that one more time. That was like... A little bit for longevity but also to like help melt my powders in but then this stuff is like super glue for your face so this is the on till dawn one size spray and like it's like a like a hairspray can i don't know what the word is for that but you'll see Ooh, it smells really good but it's strong and that stuff will like seal the deal for sure you saw at the beginning of the video i don't have perfect skin but like this wow Oh my gosh, I forgot. I do another step. Then I take my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter powder in the color lavender. And here's a little secret. I lied about not adding any more powder. Okay, here's a little secret. So I I pack it on, but I dust like most of it off. Because there's a lot, okay? And then I literally just like add it right here right there like what if you like that bright under eye look if you don't like it don't do this you're not gonna like it the way it looks but like what look at the dimension and like it doesn't look cakey that's what i like 
I do not add that much anyway, but it doesn't look cakey, so I really like that. Oh my god, stunning. Okay, and now we're gonna move on to the lower lash line. I'm not really gonna show you what I do, just because it's like, everybody does it different. Some people like it bare, you can leave it bare. Not me. Not me though. What I'm gonna do, um, let's do some brown. I don't feel in brown today. So this is a, this is so embarrassing. This is a little Sephora collection, um, crayon eyeliner thing. This one is brown. And I'm gonna do the tight line and the water line. Some people can get away with not doing this. I think it's because since I have like really big eyes, like if I don't do this, you can see a gap between my eyeliner and like my lashes and I hate the way that looks. So I just do some on top and on the bottom. If you feel like you don't have to do this, then don't do it. Do you see the difference? Whatever colors I used to blend on top, I'm gonna use to blend out the bottom. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna curl my lashes and can I just share a pet peeve? Like it is such a big pet peeve of mine when girlies do their makeup so beautifully and and guys, they do their makeup so beautifully and then they have these gorgeous lashes on and then you can see their lashes sticking out, their natural lashes sticking out of the fake lashes. I cannot stand that. I'm like, just take a little bit of time to like curl your lashes. And I always use a waterproof mascara for the reason that like my lashes are straight. Like, okay, look at the side, look at these. And look at these. I always just use a waterproof mascara because I know that's gonna hold them up. Or like, if you don't wanna use a waterproof mascara, curl them again after, because it just, I think it just elevates the look, you know? But I'm just gonna add some mascara to the top and bottom lashes and add my lashes, I'll be back. I am using the Birdie Lashes in the style Triple X. I love these lashes. I actually use the this pair for my wedding day. I love it. Um, I also slicked my eyebrows up with the Benefit 24 hour brows that are, I love this stuff also. I'm kind of like natural when it comes to brows. I just don't really, I don't love the fluffy brow trend on myself. I think some other girls look amazing in it, but I just don't like think I like it for myself, for my face. Or even like for my style of makeup so i just do them naturally you know fill it in where i need it slick them up and that's it for my lips i'm gonna use this huda beauty lip contour 2.0 i'm gonna line my lips with that really quick okay that was not really quick that's okay and then i'm gonna use this makeup forever lipstick m101 Mm, cute. I want it a little bit lighter. Got this NYX lingerie. It's the Baby Jewel. Baby Jewel color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it takes a while to dry, so I literally just keep. That's pretty dried and I love doing that. It even gives your lips like some dimension, like, mm, so luscious. And finally for gloss, I'm gonna add this Morphe All Good Gloss on top. Oh yeah. I just love gloss. I just love looking like I just ate like hella tacos de carnitos and like carnitos, carnitas and like let it drip all over my lips. That's the look, honestly, like. Oh my God. What do you guys think? I'm obsessed with this look because this is like my vibe. I feel pretty, like elegant. I don't know. I love it. I'm so annoying. I can't stop looking at myself right now. I bet you can either. I'm just kidding. But, um. That was it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you stayed until the end, thank you so much. I know I'm so embarrassing. I don't know what I talk about half of the time. So don't take me too serious. Please, please, please don't take me too serious. 
um if you like this look and you recreate it please tag me send it to me my instagram my tiktok my only fans i'm just kidding but my instagram and my tiktok what else am i on any one of my social medias is gonna be noemi's n-o-e-m-y underscore glam noemi's glam that's it everywhere um but yeah if you like this look if you like this video please like leave a nice comment emphasis on the nice leave a nice comment subscribe thank you for watching